Welcome everybody to Fishing with Jet. Today, we're on the ground. We're going to be on Buck and Bend today. We're going to do a little bank fishing. I come to an area um, I've not been here in, oh man, probably six or seven years. Wasn't sure if I still could get to this place and, and be able to fish it. So luckily today I was able to fish. Um, it's a pretty wooded area or whatever, but we're going to stay specific today. We're going to go with nothing but top water today. We're trying to get that top water bite. Hopefully we can land a real good one or more than one good one. Um, things get too bad. At the end of the day, I brought one spinning reel. I do want to catch a fish. So I'm going to do whatever it takes to catch a fish, but it's going to be top water strictly. Hopefully I don't have to result to uh, trying to catch a fish to not get skunk. But let's get to the video. To start things out, we're gonna we're gonna try to buzz it. We're gonna try to see if we can get a little a little action. Not sure exactly what to expect today. Hopefully, they're real active. Oh, that's a nice bass I seen right there. Sorry about the beauty, y'all. It's pretty. Pretty grown up around here. Figure we'll try this dam out first. As I was walking up to this area, something huge freaked off in the bank right here. It was just sitting in that corner right there. So, you know, it's pretty grown up, so I'm about to, I'm about to do some maneuvering when it comes down to throwing. Like I said, we're gonna get a buzzer, a go. This is definitely a, a place that's, you know, has its fair share of snakes. Definitely have to keep my eye out for that. I'm not scared of snakes or anything like that, um, but you know, you have to you have to anticipate something. Anything that surprises you can give you that immediate shock. So I'm fine as long as I see them ahead of time. But it's when you walk up on one and you don't see him, and you see all of a sudden you hear something or see something streak away and you don't know which way it's heading or you you know it's just that instant shot man this is gonna be a tough throw here um we're gonna we're gonna have to move post we're gonna have to move down to another area this is a little too heavy right here so i'm gonna slide on down to the next spot maybe we can get up more up Get a more bigger opening. Like I said, trying to be careful. Being careful. Because this place has always had a fair share of snakes.
best I've been able to throw the whole time I've been here. Just a subtle, subtle poppage in the water. He ate it pretty good. He ate it pretty good. Here's the first fish of the day, everybody. Some jaws and everything. That's the first one of the day. First one of the day, and um, he's probably he's probably right at he's probably right at about two pounds, you know, right at two. But let's get a let's get a release on him. Thank you for the bite. Okay, that was a way to get it started. Let's try to see what we can get next. Again, okay, so. Everybody, let's see what we can do. They definitely want that slow re retreat. Can't really get a good throw. Yeah, it's all about really being able to throw where you want to throw. By far, this is the biggest opening that I've gotten to throw in. And it may be the biggest one that I have. Having the room to cast is going to be the biggest issue. Keep looking behind me to make sure that let's do a little remodeling around here. We're just gonna clear up enough room so that I can cast. Since we're in this area right here, let's let's try something a little bit different. You know, we did come here to top water fish. So let's try something a little bit different. I'm gonna try a walking style bait now. See if I can get action. Of course, this is a, a lure that I don't, you know, you're not gonna be able to fish it in every spot because you got to have room. Unfortunately, we have gone to the spinning reel very, very early into the day. Um, not so much that I'm not getting bites or whatever. It's just this area is so, so overgrown. I'm having problems throwing bait casters and stuff. So when I get to an area that, um, that I, I can't throw the way I want to throw, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to throw this. I'm going to throw this worm. I, at the end of the day, I do want to be able to fish this lake real good, this pond real, real good. So, we are going to mix the spinning reel into it. There's just some things you have to make adjustments. So, I'm glad I, I brought my spinning reel with me. Because uh, if I hadn't brought it with me, I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's about 85% of this 
And probably 90% of this lake I wouldn't be able to throw. Wouldn't be able to fish. It's just that that much growth around the edges. It's very hard to get anything in. One thing about fishing from the bank, you have to be very cautious because you'll, you'll come to the pond with plenty of lures and you'll leave with none. Unlike a boat, you get you get tangled up on the bank. A lot of times you can't get that back. So rechecking my worm, make sure that it's weedless and in there pretty good. It's very important right now. The other thing you have to be very wary of when you bank fishing too in a wooded area. Not only do you have to worry about snakes, but things like poison ivy, poison oak, you know, be cautious of those things. Don't want you to get home and have a rash on your, your arm, a leg, or neck, so don't be like me today with shorts on, but that's how I do. in a day after about five minutes of clearing away limbs I got enough room to throw Got a little one right here. Yeah. But I see what we can pick up. Something eating it already. Another skitster. A small dinker, yeah. Another small dinkster. Pretty little bass, though. Let's see if we can get on another one. I know we can get like bigger than that. And you know what? I left all my soft plastics at the truck. Not where I wanted it at. But it might be a fish right there. Sometimes the bad cast is the is the best cast. Yep, sometimes the bad cast is the best cast. It don't always happen, but it happens on occasion. So some I'm not saying every time, but sometimes don't give up on the cast because it doesn't go exactly where you want it to go. Check my worm. I ain't got but one worm, so I gotta make this one count. Another dinkster, and man, that go my derm. Oh, well, there you go. I just redid the worm, and I guess I should have left it the way it was. Because guess what? It's gone. Slightly bigger one. Well, unfortunately, I don't have any more soft plastic. So, in order for me to get some, I have to walk all the way back over to the truck. And I'm not sure once I get to the truck that I'm going to come back over here. <sighs> Why did I forget my stuff? They were small, but they was biting. So, I guess I have to make a call. Do I? I don't know. Y'all will see what I do. Well, after that long walk from over to another side of the lake, I decided I'm going to come back over here see what kind of soft plastic I got. I realized I don't really have my the soft plastic I normally do fish with but I do have some that may work and then we're gonna get right back over there 
towards that area and see if we can maybe catch two two more, three more. Catch another fish, pretty much. All right. Got more. Eyeballing, but got another one. All right, we need something bigger than this. Yeah. Catching a lot of little dinks. A lot of little small baby bass. A little short guy right there. Alright. Thank you. Yeah, we're catching numbers today, but. <laughs> I can't even catch a fish now over over a pound. Not even close to a pound. We're catching babies. I believe the frogs are telling me to get out of here. It's their time to shine. I finally caught one over close to a pound. Ooh, he hit it. He rocked it. There we go. That's a that's a bass. That bad boy right there hit it hard. That digging my he he biggest second biggest one I've caught. Thank you. He thumped that thing, boy. He thumped that thing like he meant business. He did not play with it at all. He hit it, and he hit it with some authority. I mean, it felt like a Mack truck. <laughs> a mini Mack truck hit my line. <sighs> See if we can get one more. We'll try to end it on this fish, the next one. All right, we're looking for that closed-out fish. Looking for that closed-out fish. I think we got it. I think we got it. Now come on up there. there you go. We'll let this little little speech to right here be the close out fish. With that being said, this little seven incher or eight incher is gonna be close out fish. Thank you. Like I said, everybody, if you if you like what I'm doing, hit that like button. You know what I'm saying? Share with a friend. Hey, subscribe to my channel. You know, I, I upload videos every week on Thursdays. I'm trying to stay consistent with my time and that I release my videos. You know, um, you know, you subscribe to my channel, you're gonna get one video a week. Upload 7.30 a.m. in the morning, sharp. Check me out.